Recently on EMBN, we did a hill climb motor shootout. And it has to be said, some of you were not happy with the results. Maybe they didn't pan out as you thought they would. Nevertheless, by and large, it does seem that more torque does equate to faster timing speeds for one rider and one hill. But what we didn't look into was the effect of weight. So could it be the torque actually has less of an effect on climbing speed than system weight? So what if we took two riders, one weighing 55 kilos and the other weighing 95? On a good deck. <laughs> <laughs> and had two bikes, one with 90 newton meters of torque and one with 35 and did the same hill climb. Okay, so two specialized Levos, one an SL weighing in at 17 kilos roughly, and the other a standard Levo weighing in at about 20 kilos. Both got 29 inch wheels, 150 mil travel. What else are the differences, Georgia? Well, yours has got a 700 watt hour battery. Mine's got 320. Yours is 90 newton meters of torque. Mine's 35. Other than that, geometry's the same. Apart, Apart from, from one from thing, yeah. One very important, uh, aspect chain stays. The chain stays on the SL are a lot shorter, they're 437 mil, whereas on the standard Levo they're 455. And of course, that is important. Um, a chain stay, a shorter chain stay, uh, gets you into corners a bit snappier, whereas a longer chain stay actually aids you when you're doing climbing. However, we're not going to take into account that variable because the hill climb we're about to do is a about a seven minute climb of gradual gradient okay. so sort of the you know the geometry probably won't play uh, as much of a factor as will the rider weight 55 plays 95 almost double okay let's begin then by uh, riding a relatively smooth fire track with a gradient but doing this means we're going to get a good range of results so we're going to do the smooth track and then move on to the more technical single track although not too technical uh, so i'm on the 90 newton meter levo i'm going to be in turbo mode and you're going to be in turbo mode too georgia i'm going to be on turbo mode but i am on the sl okay right let's go okay so as uh, let's just go as hard as we can and and see how we get on okay so oh what's all this about Right, so I'm now in turbo. I'm spinning probably about, I don't know, about at least 100 RPM. And uh, I'm actually struggling to keep up with that. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Georgia, my legs are stinging. Me too. Really? Yeah. Okay. So actually this proves that there's nothing in it immediately. No. I mean, you'd never normally ride at this intensity, right? So Georgia is now in the lead for definite. Okay, we're gonna hang right down here. It's a bit rougher. It's a bit, st a bit steeper, but nevertheless, I'm still hanging on for dear life. So 35 newton meters can definitely live with 90 newton meters, that's for sure. On this track at least. Oh, hell. George, this intensity is too much. Yeah? Yeah. <sighs> Sod that. Ooh. Sod that. Over and out. I think that is quite conclusive. I would think you, so. Would you normally ride that pace? No, never. <laughs> Well, so the Levo, pretty much, well, almost three times the power, if you measure it in newton meters, to the Levo SL. Double the weight of Georgia. Uh, and I've got to be honest, Georgia, on that fire road climb that we began with, if that had gone on any longer, I'd, I'd probably <laughs> been giving up because the pace was really intense. Yeah. And I think if that hill would have been 10 minutes, you'd have had I think you'd have had about a minute on me, you to think? be honest. Yeah, 100%. Oh, 100%. Me. I just, it, was, it was too much for me. Yeah. But hey, as, as it proves, there's actually a lot more to this than, you know, simply motor power, right? I think you're completely right. I think when you're looking at e-bikes, there's so much more that goes into it. You know, the rider weight, mm -hmm. your, the tracks that you ride, the group you ride with. Yeah. That's a, that's a big one because a lot of people are 
put off from riding e-bikes because their mates haven't got them and they yeah. think that oh i'm gonna get an e-bike and uh you won't have any mates anymore which is totally untrue totally untrue uh because tell me if i'm wrong but you actually go riding with your dad right now, i know I you do. i know you're yeah. kind of with your dad today but <laughs> is it true that you go riding on your lever sl and your dad's on a lever yeah yeah we uh, ride everywhere together right and it works out it works brilliant because he will sit in eco or, or trail and i'll be turning along in trail or, or turbo next to him and we get to ride everywhere and I get the lightweight feel descending of this which I love yeah. and he gets the more planted power that he loves but we can still ride together. Yeah right okay right let's uh, let's get on to a bit of a technical single track shall we? Oh god! So pretty smooth trail super fun riding at the same pace well Georgia a little bit ahead Keeping the momentum, like the flow on an uphill trail like this is insane. I don't know if you can see, but the track isn't super steep, but there's a load of corners and there's a load of line choice to be had on this climb. So, like I said, it's not just about the motor and rider weight. It's actually to do with the skill as well. So you can actually get things wrong so I'm just tracking Georgia now as you can see the single track is actually pretty smooth so uh, riding at about the same pace but as you can see here, there's beginning to be some collision so once you get involved in the collisions that slows the bike down so my gut feeling is that the lower torque bike is going to be less effective than the higher torque bike when the going gets a little bit more technical. A little bit of a nibbly section ahead. A bit more tech. So Georgia lost a little bit of momentum there. So obviously this there's an element of sort of momentum and rider pace to do with this hill climbing as well as just the motor. So that needs to be really carefully uh, considered as well. The trail a little bit more rocky here now. A uh, lot more roots on the ground, a lot more collisions to uh, really take it out of yourself and also that motor. There's a couple of roots, a couple of rocks ahead here. So you can see definitely the 90 newton meter motor does have the edge on those little bits but now George is picking up the pace again so you're really going to be mindful of the type of terrain that you ride do you like the little arrowhead here I love it yeah coming to a point oh, hey, oh uh, the point, point the point being is the time now on the on the single track climb which was Maybe a little bit more technical than I thought it would be. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I did a 6.30 and you did a 7 minutes. So I did. really at the end of the day, it's the same sort of difference on, on that as your kind of advantage on, on the smoother climb. So there's a lot to be, uh, to be considered here when you're choosing an e-bike, right? Is. Yeah, like you have the skills for the technical climb and the momentum. Yeah. Whereas I... The raw power. No you had the raw power for the climbing. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so listen. So if you know, if someone's buying an e-mountain bike, uh, you know, the torque that a bike's got doesn't actually come into it. I mean, if you think about it. This has got. This is possibly one of the highest torque bikes on the market. Yep. That's the lowest. So mm -hmm. obviously there are e-bikes in between in that range. There's yep. ones with 65 or 70 newton meters of torque. So lots to think about. As, as too is the versatility of the SL. Absolutely. Now you can actually fly with the SL with a, with a battery in your bag. You so can. which you can't yeah. really do with this bike so there's other things to take into account there's the geometry which you talked about earlier short chain stays yeah there's the light and playful handling for the descending mm -hmm. so you've got to, pretty much you're going to think about everything when it comes to uh comes to choosing your e-bike but coming down to the point which we discussed uh, i think it's a little bit inconclusive and it depends so. on where you ride 
Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, please, please get involved in the discussion on does, you know, does, does talk matter? Does weight matter when it comes to an e-mountain bike? Uh, I mean, the main thing is having fun. I think we've had some fun today, Georgia. Oh, we've had some fun. Uh, don't forget to check out the other videos I've done with the Surrey, Surrey what? Stingray? Surrey Stingray? Oh yeah, Surrey, <laughs> Surrey Big Mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that one. <laughs> uh, right, okay, great. See you guys on the hill. Thanks, thanks, Georgia. No problem, see you later.